Back on Inside Tennessee again, John, we had those candidates on because this is a historic election in Knox County. Explain to our viewers who may have come in mid conversation. What makes it such a big deal? Well, one of the things is we've got some new precincts and uh, some new sort of boundaries, some new guidelines. We also have, uh, you know, we have an incumbent who's leaving now, so we have an opportunity for somebody with a new voice to step up. A couple of those folks at least have run for office before, but one of them, as I said, is now going to be the school board member for District 1. You had a conversation with the three school board candidates who are leaving. Uh, for our viewers who didn't see that, it, it may have surprised people that they were one term and done. They gave different reasons. One was uh, they didn't like the idea of a partisan race, which we are now going to see. Another said, you know, two terms is plenty, and I would agree. I know Reverend Butler prays. I was going to ask the other three if they pray as well, because that is not an easy job being on that school board. It is not. They're going to face some tough decisions. Uh, anything that that stood out that you think we should understand about District 1 and its voting history? I'll be honest with you. Uh, they all gave some great eloquent answers, and I think they covered the geography of the needs of that district. So I think everything they had to say was pretty relevant. They didn't agree uh, on uh, Evity Satterfield and the job she did, but they were pretty pointed in their criticisms, I thought. Thank you, John. We appreciate you watching. We're going to try to have as many candidates as we can on in the lead up to the primary. Obviously, based on the number of elections and races, that's not going to be a possibility, but we'll get on as many as we can. The high profile and most attention getting races will be our focus next week. The sheriff's candidates on Inside Tennessee. Have a great weekend.